Hey, I've been getting a lot of private messages and comments re regarding my job um, from the video I made about a week ago concerning my worries about it. Um, I don't want to say anything specific while I don't, while things aren't completely 100% official, um, but I do want to say that you don't have to worry about me. I figured it out, and as soon as everything's official, I will let you know, so don't worry. And thank you for worrying in the first place. It was very sweet. Oni-chan to nawa tobi means me and my older sister jump rope. Suko kuta no si piano. So, playing the piano is so much fun. catching butterflies and there's I think a lobster and butterflies over there too. <laughs> Soccer. They're all just lying down on the court I guess. <laughs> just kidding I know they just fail at perspective. This princess is bald on the top of her head. It's all right I won't judge. <laughs> this guy appears to be naked. Merry go round. That is one giant apple. These are the second graders. Ski na koto na oni. So things we like. So this is new. Um, the sixth graders who graduated um, this year, who are now at my junior high school. This is their little goodbye poster. And they all wrote a message, and there's like pictures of them, that's really cute. And most of the pictures, and most of the messages are like, thank you so much. This one in particular says, um, uh, Ima de arigato gozaimashita tada shou daisuki desu. <laughs> so now, thank you very much. Um, I love Tada Elementary School. Aww. Now these kids are at my junior high school. So cute. My memory card on my camera is really, really old. And um, it's getting more and more difficult to get my computer to recognize it. I have to like take it out several, several times before it finally just decides, OK, I'll recognize it this time. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> A, a lot of really funny stories today. They're not going to sound as funny when I tell them now that I've hyped you up for it, but... Okay, so I had second grade today, and they're, they're so cute. I was teaching them weather, and um, <laughs> we discussed rock, paper, scissors the other day, or like last week or something. So they were playing the, the tire John Ken game, the tire rock, paper, scissors game, where they touch the, you know, it's sunny, it's cloudy, it's rainy, and then they have to do rock, paper, scissors, and the winner keeps going, and the loser goes to the end of the line. Um, but for some reason, I don't know when it started or how it started, instead of, the, instead of saying rock, paper, scissors, one, two, three, they started saying first weather, one, two, three, and I was like, first weather? Why are you saying that? And they, all of them were saying it, and they kept doing it, and people, one kid would be like, wait, wait, what is it? And the other kid's like, oh, it's first weather, one, two, three. And I'm like, no, it's not. Why are you saying first weather? It was so funny. But then it got to the, the point where I do this too much, where it's so cute that it's fine with me. You, fine, you can say first weather, one, two, three. I don't care. That, that's officially how we do rock, paper, scissors now. First weather, one, two, three. <laughs> it was really, really cute. Um... Uh, and so at the first recess, I played tag with the fourth graders, and um, that was fun, of course. But then randomly, right in the middle of the game, a little first grader comes up to me, and he's like, he's like really upset. And I'm like, oh my god, what's wrong? Did you fall over? Are you dying? Like, what is wrong with you? And it's really funny because this is a kid 
who has an older brother in fifth grade and he looks exactly like him except half his size he's tiny and his fifth grade brother is like 10 feet tall and um, this kid is like tiny version of him and he's just it's just wicked cute that's all and he just comes up to me and he's like and I'm like what's wrong and he's like rrr, 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 rrr. he says something in Japanese and I have no idea what he's saying and I'm like okay slowly what's the problem and then he started talking about a ball and he was pointing over at a group of third graders playing with a ball and I'm like did they take the ball from you and he was like no and they were playing with a green ball and I was like what ball are you talking about you're like a pink ball and I'm like okay um a uh, pink ball and I was like just show me and I, I I led him and he showed me a pink ball on the other side of the fence of the playground so it was in the street apparently they were playing with the ball and they threw it over the fence by accident and he was coming to me being like oh, I'm sorry so I was like oh don't worry about it and I went and I got the ball and I brought it back to him and he was like yay he was, he was instantly happy it was really cute and I felt good because it's like oh this little first grader came to me. I mean, maybe I was just the closest teacher, but it was, it was adorable. He's so cute. Um, do you remember Cliff Man and Cliff Man's younger brother, Cliff Boy? It's Cloudy Kid. And then I started having a theory that this kid at this elementary school was their younger, younger brother. And we started calling him theoretical cliff kid. Then we found out that he wasn't, so he doesn't really have a name. But we're gonna call him Bonnie now. <laughs> because um, the past three times I've gone to this school, he's in fourth grade, the past three times I've gone to this school, he's been wearing the same shirt. And it's a one-piece shirt with um, Ace on it, the character called Ace. And there's like a paragraph at the, at the bottom of the shirt describing who this character is. It's like, Ace is on fire and he has a tattoo. It's just like random English explaining who Ace is. And at the very end of the sentence, it just says Bonnie. B-O-N-I. It's like the English is mostly correct. I mean, it's kind of odd, but then Bonnie. <laughs> and I was just like, Bonnie. So for the past three times, he's worn, worn the same shirt. And I finally was just like, do you have any other shirts? Is that the only shirt you own? And everyone kind of laughed at that. Um, because he just so happened to wear that shirt for the past three Fridays. Um, so in that class we played, we, we did sports and we did the gesture game Olympics. And we had all these different gesture games. Um, and um, I, I called them Team Frog, Team Bird, and Team Fish. And I think Team Frog won. But only by like one point, they just barely won. It was really funny. Um, so then I had lunch. I had lunch with the third graders, but for some reason the third graders and the fourth graders, like, shuffled today. So, like, half the third grade and half the fourth grade was in the fourth grade room, and the other half of each class was in the third grade room. I guess they're doing it to, like, foster friendships between the different grades. So I was sitting at a table with several third graders and several fourth graders. So that, that was kind of a good idea. I thought that was, that was fun. And, um, I kept, like, stealing his... we had, like, little fruit snacks for uh, dessert. And I kept stealing his whenever he would look away and he would be like, oh my so tired. And um, then, you know, all the other kids started doing it too and it was really funny. I just, it's a difficult story to tell. It was kind of just an in the moment, like this is so funny, the way you're reacting is hilarious type of thing. Um, then for the second recess, I went outside and I played tag with the fourth grade during the first recess, so the third grade was like, okay, you're gonna play tag with us today. But the fourth grade asked me first, and I was like, well, they asked first. And then the third grade was like, oh, but you played with them during first recess. And I was like, well, why don't we just all play together? And they were all like, oh. And pretty soon, like, the, the fifth grade came over, and I think that was it, the third, fourth, and fifth grade. We all played one giant game of tag, first and second grade. They're too young. They, they, can't, they can't keep up. Like, their legs are too small. And sixth grade is too cool, too old and cool. Um, but the third, fourth, and fifth grade, we played a big game of tag, and it was really fun. <laughs> and it was like, every time I wasn't it, I would become it five seconds later, because the other kids would be it, and they'd just immediately all go after me. <laughs> I was like, this isn't fair. 
I just want to be not it for a minute. I'm tired. Um, I think that's all I have. There's a couple of other things here, but I don't think it'll come out sounding funny. Oh, I'm very tired. I did not sleep well at all last night. I, I kept having a really bad dream. I can't remember what it was, but it was it was it was scary, and I kept waking up, like I kept kicking myself awake. So I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. Oh, wait, it's Friday though. I can't go to bed early on a Friday. That's so lame. I don't know. Who knows? I I'll do something or not. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, I'm in such a good mood. That's all, even though I'm tired. Goodbye! See you! <laughs>